Hi everyone, welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we're going to be making a really cool notebook cover. So I just got this mold and it is really amazing. It is the eye of a dragon. So here we have scales and here is a large eye. And what's really cool about this is that this is actually a notebook cover. So it does have the holes here for uh, rings. And this is a two piece. We have the front of the notebook and also a back piece for the back side. This way you can match the colors. We're going to color it in with some mica powder. This is from Alexis. And we're going to be using resin from Tea Expert. Down here today, as you can see, it's not my usual white workspace. Instead, this is black. This is actually a silicone mat. And as you can see, it's actually really, really big. So this is really great for resin because resin does not stick to silicone. This is made of the same material as the molds. And so this will make cleanup really easy. Underneath, I'm actually going to be using my leveling table. This one is also from Tea Expert. This table here has a little leveling dot, which is perfect for making sure that your workspace is leveled. And having a leveled workspace is very important, especially for this project, because look how thin this back cover is. So if your table is even a little bit tilted, then your cover will come out uneven. So we don't want that. So let's go ahead and start by picking some colors here. These powders are so pretty. Okay, so let's start. Let's go with these four colors. I have a red, a green, a blue, and a purple. I'm going to start by sprinkling them into the spaces I want them to be. Next, I'm going to take my brush and start to rub it in. So I have a lot of excess uh, powder here. What I'm going to do is transfer them over to the back side. So I'm just going to do a simple flip. Tap it down. Ooh, look at that. This is beautiful. And over here, let's go ahead and also brush it in. Okay, and we're going to remove the excess. All right, here it is. All right, everyone, so now we're ready for the resin. So let's go ahead and put on our gloves and respirator and mix a batch of resin. All right, once the resin is all mixed, let's go ahead and pour it in. I'm going to pour it in almost to the top because I want to add a layer of black on the back, so we need to leave some room. I want to make sure there are no bubbles here in the scales. Here I'm just using a stick to spread everything out so that's nice and even. It's been about 12 hours and the first layer is done. However, I want to add a second layer of black on top. So here I'm just going to pour a thin layer of black on the back. I 
All right, everyone, and we are done. So our resin has cured and I can't wait to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and demold the top cover first. at this isn't this beautiful oh my goodness this is so so pretty I love all the different colors we got the blues the greens the purples and the red okay so that's the top side here's the bottom and here's the back and I love how the colors really match. Look at this. So this would go here in the back like this. So you would have papers in the middle. And here's the back. And here's the front. There is a little bit of um, resin here, which you can trim with some, which you can trim with a razor blade. And I think what we need to do now is finish the eye. Let's go ahead and paint the eye with some acrylic paint. All right, so the painting is done. Here's the eye. And now we're gonna seal the paint with some UV resin. So I'm gonna be using UV resin and my UV light to quickly cure the resin. And in case you're wondering about the mat, as you can see, we have our little resin droplets here. And what you can do is you can just easily peel them off the mat. And now it's nice and clean again and ready for your next project. All right, everyone, and we are done. Take a look at how beautiful this notebook cover turned out. So here is our dragon. Oh my goodness, I love the colors. I love how the mica powder turned out with all these shimmering colors. And look at the eye, it is glistening. So here is the front cover, and of course we have the back cover, which looks just as nice with the same colors. So here is the inside. I think I need to clean this up a little bit. I got some powder on there. And here is the back side. All right, everyone, so I had so much fun with this project and I love how it turned out. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.